did, yeah. 17 year old Connor Jarnigan was jumped outside of a Gilbert in and out in December of 2022 and hit by another teen wearing brass knuckles. His doctors say he could have been paralyzed if he was hit just an inch to the left. And he's not alone. In May, a 16 year old in North Phoenix lost a row of teeth attacked by another teen with brass knuckles. And that prompted Jarnigan to write to state lawmakers asking to ban the weapon. Now, Jarnigan was at the state capitol today to make his case as the Senate Judiciary Committee debated the bill to outlaw them. His face is blurred at his mother's request. With heavy punishments on brass knuckles, like in Colorado, where someone found in possession of brass knuckles can face up to 18 months in jail and severe fines, fewer people would risk being caught with them, and we'd be able to stop the sale of these weapons online and at smoke shops. The bill is sponsored by Republican Senator John Kavanaugh. Some argue brass knuckles should remain legal as a form of self-defense, but Kavanaugh says there are plenty of alternatives like pepper spray. And while some cities, including Phoenix, already ban brass knuckles, Arizona is one of only a dozen states where they are still legal. We are told that bill passed out of the committee today unanimously, and it now heads to the Senate for a full vote. Of course, we will keep viewers updated on what happens next guys.